All right, today we're gonna to be demonstrating the security of a door. This is a uh, standard door, just your everyday door frame. You got a wooden door, deadbolt lock with a one inch throw, and the lock's actually entering a metal strike plate that's attached to the, uh, the wooden trim here. The weak point of this door is gonna be your strike plate, where the deadbolt actually enters the trim. Nine times out of 10 on any standard door, the strike plate's gonna be attached with small three quarter inch screws. That's gonna be your weak point. We'll demonstrate a standard door, and then we'll demonstrate a strengthened door. All right, All right, here we go. We have our burglar, and he's going to kick the front door in. Maybe. Oh, shoot. Perfect. The last one was perfect. And this is an example of what I was talking about. OK, the only thing keeping that deadbolt in was this small bit of trim here. And which completely tore away from the door frame itself. The uh, three quarter inch screws are gone. Uh, the strike plate is in here somewhere. That's all it takes. One good strong kick in this uh, little thin door frame is no good. That's the only thing keeping a bad guy out of your house. To this door frame, we've attached a strike plate with three inch screws. They'll actually go through the framework into the uh, two by four itself. We're gonna cue our burglar, and if it works out well, this door will be dramatically stronger than the previous door. Let's try it out. Good one right in the middle there. <laughs> All right. Well, this door was a bit weaker than we expected, but our work held three inch screws. As long as you don't have an extremely weak door, this may be all it takes. Of course, even with a door this weak, it does increase your reaction time. And we discovered that the weakest link in our security chain, so to speak, was the door itself. The hardware on the frame actually held. Well, now we've got another door. This is your standard house door. This is a metal clad door, so it's gonna be a lot stronger than the one we just demonstrated on. Once again, we've removed the small screws from the strike plates and replaced them with the three inch screws. Now, we're gonna do a demonstration on this one, see what happens. Three inch screws still in there. Doing these experiments is actually quite interesting. We always recommend the three inch screws and you can see they held. In this case, however, the door is still attached to the frame. The frame is just no longer attached to the stud here. So, one thing we've just now discovered, and one thing we can all recommend now, is to attach this door frame to these studs with longer screws. Folks, my suggestion here is you normally on an outside door have three hinges. Take a three inch screw in the center of the three screws on each hinge and go into the stud, a three or a four inch screw. And that should give you incredible strength for your door for somebody kicking it in. To be honest, in my 25 years as a police officer, I've never seen a door defeated in this manner. Nine times out of 10, it's right here. But I'll bet you, if we were to put three and a half, four inch screws into this, this wouldn't have happened. We're running out of doors, so I'm just gonna have to take a guess on that one. 
All right, see you next time, folks.